is the second category of cyber crimes and this is committed against all types of almost all types of asset some of the important cyber crimes that takes place against this category are intellectual asset crimes then cyber squatting then cyber vandalism cyber extortion the famous malware botnet malware computer sabotage data diddling virus transmission hacking pc system cyber trespassing internet time thefts and finally the theft of ftp passwords in other words file transfer protocol passwords we'll see most of the categories here the first one is intellectual asset crimes we all know the intellectual property deals with the protection of creation of the mind that has both moral and commercial value so intellectual property rights may have a direct or substantial impact on the industry as well as on the trade as the owner of the ipr one may prevent the manufacture and use or sale of a product the primary categories of ipr violation are the system piracy the copyright breach check mark abuse source code theft etc next comes the cyber squatting cyber squatting is the registration of the domain name illegally and usage of it the primary purpose is here to steal and misspell a domain name in order to profit from increasing website visits it involves two or more claiming of similar domain names either by using the registered name or something related to the previous name in other words they look almost similar sometimes cyber vandalism vandalism refers to the action involving deliberate destruction or damage to public or private property anything that involves the destruction or damage of the digital content such as the websites databases which may be personal or private or public and publicly owned websites these are the ways in which one can do a harm and it leads to inappropriateness next comes the cyber extortion cyber extortion refers to any practice that involves an attack or threat coupled with a demand for money or some other response in return for stopping or uh, remediating the attack for example the reason ransomware these ransomware attacks fall under this category because they demanded money for encrypting or uh, decrypting the whole data next comes the world famous malware as we all know they infect and damage the computing systems without the owner's awareness or permission then what is the botnet malware botnet refers to a group of computers connected in a coordinated fashion for malicious purposes so each individual computer in a botnet is known as the bot which from a network of computers controlled basically by a third party to transmit malware spam and sometimes even to launch specific cyber attacks next we'll discuss about the computer sabotage sabotage is defined as an intentional act deliberately made to induce malicious acts causing disruption of the normal processes and functions damaging the equipment or the information so the utilization of the network or internet to stop the progress of normal functioning of a processor or system during the introduction of worms viruses logic bombs is known as computer sabotage next comes data diddling data diddling involves the modification of data prior or during the input to a computer the offender here can be involved in the process of generating recording encoding examining verifying transforming 
or even converting data by changing the expected output that is complicated to track. One of the easiest method of committing a computer related crime is data diddling because even a non-professional can do these types of attacks effortlessly. Next is the virus transmission, all of us are aware of it. Then the hacking PC systems, we have already discussed about various types of hackers and even green hat hackers are also available. They are the skilled people with the knowledge on hacking to prevent the system from possible attacks. So, you know, hackers attack Twitter and blogging platforms even by an unconstitutional access or management over the system. Next comes the cyber trespass. This refers to accessing someone's system or web without an open approval of the administrator. Here the information may be disturbed, modified, misused or cracked by the wireless uh, web connection. Then the most common of course all of us might have encountered at some point of time or other is the internet time theft. In general, internet time theft comes under hacking which is the exploitation by a certified individual. Here, the internet hours rewarded for individuals or organizations are stolen when an individual gets access to someone else ISP user ID unpassword either by hacking or by means of illegal utilization of the network access. Finally, the last type on the assets is the theft of file transfer protocol password. Here, um, the other way of tampering with websites is the theft of FTP code words. It takes the merit of the fact that several webmasters can store their website login information on their badly protected systems. So the victim systems is searched for identifying FTP login information and such information are relayed to his own remote system after which the website is logged by them through the system, modifying the web pages based on their requirements. So, these are some of the common attacks on the assets.